Hey guys, I got a new video for you today, and we're going to be looking at a pair of Oakleys that I recently picked up. Um, this model came out a couple months ago, and um, as of late, I've seen a lot of people have a uh, grown interest in this particular model. There's been some pictures posted online and stuff like that. So I decided to go ahead and pick one up for myself. Um, I wasn't originally going to pick them up. I've seen them in the stores, tried them on. I thought they were a little bit too big for my face, but you know, um, I wanted to go ahead and pick them up, do this video in case somebody is interested because I always get questions regarding, um, you know, what kind of glasses can I get if I have a bigger face, a wider face, maybe a rounder face. And I think this particular model is going to serve those folks that have that particular type of frame on their face a lot better. And that is the model called Castell. And that is Castell, not Castle, because it's T-E-L instead of T-L-E. This particular one is in the matte gray smoke with a prism ruby. I thought this color looked really, really nice, but it is available in a couple of other um, choices as far as colors go. So if you guys are interested, go ahead and check them out. They do have different colors available. Maybe they'll have one that you like a little bit better. So let's go ahead and open up the box and hopefully we'll see what it's all about. All right, so this one is uh, just a standard black microfiber bag. But I do like the fact that they went with this color frame for this lens, just because a lot of times they'll just throw a either like a polished black or a matte black frame with the um, Prism Ruby lenses. So it's a, it's refreshing to see that they went with something a little bit different, and that is the matte gray smoke frame here. So we'll take the little plastic bag off, and here they are. So again, um, this is a taller lens right here, so it is going to fit somebody with a wider face, a, a longer face, a lot better. Um, this is, in my opinion, if you're familiar with the Holbrook, it's going to sit a little bit higher than a Holbrook um, just for from wearing them and stuff like that. But I do like the, the actual stylings on these um, because, again, instead of just going with just a taller Holbrook or something like that, they threw in uh, a little bit more style into this frame and that's what, what kind of drew me to them in the end and why I decided to go ahead and pick them up. So again, we're taking a look at them straight on here. As you see here, there is a very evident hole right here in the frame. So the lenses are actually exposed right in this section here. And that's one of the things that I wanted to uh, take a look at when I got them in is just to see because at first I thought that would look a little bit weird just you know having that section open right there but after putting them on and wearing them and stuff like that it, it really grew on me and I just like the idea of just you know hey why don't we knock out the frame right here in the middle and just have the lenses be exposed. Now one of the things that um, I was worried about is, well, if you don't have that connection of the frame into the lens, is that going to make them flimsier or will the lenses pop out pretty easily? And I can tell you that they don't, which is nice. They're nice and secure there. Um, there is a, a little bit of an extra step if you're going to go ahead and swap out the lenses, which I will show you in a little bit, but um, they are nice and secure there. So again, this one is the matte gray smoke frame with the prism ruby lenses. Again, it does have the word prism etched on the bottom right there. So really nice wrap to these as well. So it is, um, it's going to give you good coverage up and down and left and right. And then, um, you know, it's, it's, a, it's nice and squared, but you do have some rounded edges here. So it's not too, uh, too boxy looking. So there is a little bit of a, a frame design right here. So instead of it being, you know, completely one piece all the way around, you have like this top section here, and then it, it almost looks like it divides right there. So as you can see, there's a little bit of a of a little indentation there, and then you have the same thing at the bottom here. I do like those little subtle frame designs because again, you know, you could they could have just made it all the way around and look kind of seamless. I do like the little separation that you see right there. Um, as you open it up, you do have an elliptical icon here. I always like it when Oakley matches the icon color to the lens color. I think they lose out on a, a good style design by not doing that. They always kind of leave it sometimes with a different color one. Again, I would I would have swapped these out for um, maybe like a matte red or team red or something like that to match the lenses. But again, that's more of a personal preference. Very thin stems all the way through, which is going to make it very comfortable, very easy to wear, especially if you're going to wear a hat or something like that, maybe headphones, um, you know, you're listening to music and stuff like that. These are not going to get in the way. And again, instead of it being, you know, completely straight down, down the line, you see there's a little bit of a, of a design feature right here where it slopes down and then it goes through all the way to the back right there, which makes it look really, really cool. On the inside of the stem here, you also have 
a little bit of a grip design there. It is not an obtanium or anything. It's just part of the O matter frame. Um, but it's just kind of rough, a little design there, which, you know, will help it grip a little bit more to your head. Again, this is going to be more of a lifestyle frame as opposed to uh, any type of sport specific frame or anything like that because there is no unobtainium or no rubber on the ears or on the nose either. The nose piece that is right here built into the frame itself. You do have a little bit of metal right in, inside here. I don't know if that's just done to reinforce the frame where it, it's lacking that piece right there. But again, that's it is present right there. And then the same type of stem on the other side. You can see it a little bit better here, that kind of slope down. So I like that, that cool design feature right there. It lets it kind of flare out a little bit and then come in um, and wrap a lot nicer. So again, really nice wrap on these, which is going to give you great protection from the sun and stuff like that coming in from the sides. Now, if you can see at the top of the frame right here, there is a little bit of an opening right there. And that's where I mentioned that it's going to be a little bit different as far as how the, the lens actually attaches to the frame. You'll see it right on the inside of the nose piece area right there as well. And that is because normally what you do to remove the lenses is you kind of stretch the frame out a little bit and then you just using your finger from the back, you just pop it out. So you're gonna do the same thing with this one, but as you notice, there is a little bit of a little piece right on the top right there and then on the bottom here. And that actually is where it makes contact into the frame and it keeps the lens more secure in the frame there. So again, if you're gonna be removing your lenses, swapping them out for any reason, just be aware of that. It's not your simple pop out like you do with some of the other frames. You do have to make sure that that is, um, you know, that you remove that as you go. And then if you see here, there's a little extra piece of uh, frame material that where the lenses sit on so that the lenses aren't touching your face directly. So I'll show you guys from the back here too. All right, it's a, lot, a little bit thinner than the frame itself, but just enough to hold the lens in place. Really, really cool. I like the thought process behind how they did that. So when you go ahead and reinstall your lenses, the first thing you do is you're gonna put that little piece right at the top there, and then you wanna make sure that the little piece on the nose clicks in as well and then you just kind of feed the lenses into the frame and there they go so now they are reinstalled and ready to be used just you know wipe off your fingerprints make sure that there's no fingerprints in the area and there you go good as new and you can go ahead and use them so let me go ahead and turn the camera on i'll put these on so you guys can see what they look like on me all right so this is the oakley castell again um nice Nice lightweight frame, very, very comfortable. This one in the matte gray smoke with the prism ruby lenses. Again, I really, really like that combination. I, I like the fact that they didn't go with a black frame, matte or polished, just because, you know, it, it, it gives it a little bit of contrast. So for me, they are a little bit tall for my frame, not too tall where it's gonna be uncomfortable or anything like that, just I would prefer my um, glasses to be just a little bit shorter. But again, these are gonna give me that much more coverage. So somebody with a wider face, or you know, either this way or up and down, a rounder face, I think the Castell is gonna be a great addition. Um, I think it'll, it'll definitely do good uh, for those type of faces as well. Very thin as you come from the sides, as I mentioned. So if I'm wearing headphones or anything like that, they're not gonna get in the way. Really, really nice wrap. I mean, it is covering from top to bottom, left to right. There is nothing coming in. Uh, I wanna show you guys here the middle section. Again, you can see my uh, skin right behind there because again, there is no frame there. But I just, I think they, they look really cool. And you know, after looking at myself in the mirror, wearing them, I wasn't too worried about what that would look like. As always, if I were to go inside, I would, you know, put these on top of my head and um, they sit very nicely there. I can do whatever it is that I need to do. And then once I go outside, I can bring these back down and they are, um, you know, back where they need to be. So the lens is not touching my face. Um, I know that that was another question because again, you do have that little piece or the little extra piece of frame right there, which um, secures the lens from coming further back. So you don't have to worry about them, you know, uh, your, your skin or anything like that, making contact with the lenses or something like that. That was another um, question that I have seen floating around. Um, again, very, very comfortable. 
It is available in a bunch of different colors. So if you guys are looking for a larger frame, a wider frame, if uh, if you're the type of person that has trouble kind of getting those type of frames, I think the Castell is a good option for you. Um, and again, because they're so light, it's really easy to wear them. You know, pretty much for the whole day, uh, I've worn them driving, walking around, out in the sun and stuff like that. And uh, they have served me very well. So there it is. I uh, just wanted to go ahead and showcase this uh, new model. Again, it's been out for a couple months, but it's a new model to me. The Castell from Oakley. Uh, this one, again, being the matte gray smoke frame with the prism ruby lenses. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Thanks.